Hello, hello. I'm hoping you've had a fantastic weekend. I sure did. Um, went on a really big trip uh, uh, to Alice Springs, which was a little bit of a pattern break. But anyway, that's things that you do when you've actually, you know, set up your systems and your business in a way that you're not afraid to go places um, and, you know, travel and enjoy. Okay. I hope you had a good time yourself too. And um, yeah, so as the um, uh, topic suggests, I'm just going to talk about commanding attention. And in the meantime, I'm also going to try and share this live feed to another group. But I really want to speak um, especially on the front of how you can command attention and how attention has become a currency in which you need to have people latching onto your um, whatever you say. You need to have people, you know, listening to what you're saying. You need to have people, um, you need to really have people, you know, grasping every aspect of the things that you say, okay? Because without people listening, following, or even, um, you know, buying your stuff, you are going nowhere fast and you you heading pretty much nowhere real quick, okay? So as a startup or maybe a freelancer that you are right now and you really want to grow your audience or maybe some people would start off with a Facebook page. But, you know, um, Facebook is literally just a stepping stone. You need to have a whole array of things that are designed in their own right to help you reach those kind of people to give you the authoritative edge and you also have to really give value because even as much as there's a lot of people that are on Facebook okay people are being subjected to a lot I mean a lot of influence okay so you really want to make sure that you're cutting through the noise by going out to reaching out to the right kind of person who's got the right kind of pain that you specifically can solve okay uh, with your product service or um, you know um, personality so now I really want to welcome you to what is now called the attention economy because if you're not commanding any attention if people are not liking sharing or conversing about your products then that means you're really really not scrapping the surface at all um, and I hate to burst your bubble but if you don't have people that are sharing your stuff those people that are not your mother your grandmother or or you know people that actually know you what that means is you are just performing to an empty theater and that my friends is the beginning of your downfall okay so while you know I'm talking about the attention economy so information grows ex at a marginal rate okay um, you know your own brain has biological limits to the amount of inputs that you can pay attention to, all right? So time and scarcity creates, you know, the poverty of attention. We now live in what is called the attention economy, and this economic paradigm is where everybody competes for attention. So one way that you can get somebody's attention, especially maybe, let's say, on Facebook, is by making your business relate to that something that they're truly interested in all right so maybe it could be music it could be fashion or it could be your digital marketing make sure you're reaching out to the right kind of people with the right kind of pain and giving them the right kind of payoff and your product is servicing all these uh, things because if you're not doing that then you literally 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 not um, giving people any value and nobody would follow you or, um, you know, listen to you. So give good value for people's time. I'm going to say this again. I actually call this in my office GVFT, okay? Give good value for people's time because it's now very, very expensive to actually get people to listen and participate in whatever you ask them to so if you are not commanding that sort of um attention from them they're not gonna put
put their hands in the pockets to give you any money, all right? So just like when you go to a new restaurant or something like that, someone might ask you, is it good value for money or, you know? And this is the difference between consuming food and information is that the other one costs money and the other one costs time, all right? So time is as good as money. And if you cannot value people's time, then, you know, they're not going to give it to you. All right. So when you receive a lot of likes or shares, it means that people thought it was really good investment of their time. And fundamentally, you know, your Facebook posts should create that value that when they inform, inspire, and then they enrich and also amuse and also sometimes surprise the people that you're trying to reach out to, they will give you a like and a share when you exceed people's expectations of value that is gained, you know, for, for the time that they have spent with you. So aim at giving whatever you do 155%, yeah? Uh, more value than everyone else for the time that they have spent watching your stuff, all right? So remember this, GVFT, good value for the time that people are spending with you, all right? So, you know, there's then the conversion then happens when, when people are engaged with your stuff, when people know, like, and trust you, they will be more than happy to give you money uh, and pay you for your time and your services. And that's how winning is done, all right? So when people start liking and sharing your posts and, you know, you're building this reputation and it's called reputational capital, all right? It's things that nobody, not a lot of people will tell you. They'll tell you, yes, use that tool, use that tool, but you need to create Create reputation capital. That's an investment you got to put in your business to make sure that you come out winning on that end. Okay, so people start trusting your opinion, and now they've got your attention at least a little bit of it. Okay, it's a fecal place that you're at right now. And um, you know, and the next time around you send, you post something, or you share something with them, they're more likely to jump off, stop what they're doing, and listen. All right. So people are more than willing to listen to you if they've given you attention right from the get. OK, so as a startup or as you're starting your own digital marketing agency like that, you know, you may post 95 um, percent, um, you know, with the purpose of building that reputation capital. All right. And then when your followers are now engaged, it will be a lot easier for you to sell something, you know, to maybe in 5% of your posts. I think Gary Vaynerchuk has a book, Jab, Jab, Hook, all right? So you give value, you give, 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 and then you can just then, you know, give them a hook once the people are engaged, all right? So you wanna use Facebook initially to give out 10% of the value and then build that reputation capital and sell to people later on, all right? You can't just go in straight for for like you know cold traffic yes it might work but then those people don't stay they're just there for the shiny objects and i see knowing as you um want to really grow market and scale your business you you will um want to help and deal with people that actually do care about what it is that you've got to sell all right so the content formula that you need to follow is you gotta command that attention give a lot of value and then convert that um, attention. So it's all laid out in the blueprint right there. So you capture and then you connect and then you convert those people and then it's a it's a whole cycle that goes on right like that, okay? So the attention, you use a specific interest to trigger the people's emotions, okay? And you gotta know which people those are, you know, the pain that they have and the payoff that you're gonna give them and the product. And then the value that you're gonna give them is when you engage with them, when you educate them and then when and you also provide them with value and you inspire them to do, be, and have whatever it is that they want. And then that would be the in exchange of the time that they spend on your content. And then the conversion, okay, is when you know the reputation comes in, you know, you're no longer hunting, you know, you're just farming for the people and stuff like that. I keep putting this out. If you're interested in knowing a little bit more about the blueprint, just type in blueprint at the bottom as well, and then I'll send that through to you, okay? So I'm going to say this again. So attention plus value that you give equals conversion. There's no way around it, okay? If you're not getting attention and you're not giving value, there's no way you're going to make it sell. All right, I'm gonna repeat that again. If you are not giving 
If you're not giving attention, if you're not getting attention from the people that you intend to sell to, and you're not providing any value, there's no way you'll get a conversion. All right. So just be on the lookout of what it is that you're giving out there, because people are receiving a lot more information. In as much as when you saw this video, you would have seen 500 other videos. Okay. So what makes you think that your customer has not done the same? as well, all right? So you wanna make sure that whatever you're putting out there has a lot of value that people can't even deny you, okay? And then you're commanding their attention. Once you have their attention, that's only when you can actually, um, you know, pitch to them, all right? So just make sure you're giving people things that are interested in and, um, things that are actually of value to them. And if you really enjoyed this video today, just press like, or comment or share this video and also if you want to ha have your hands on the blueprint type blueprint at the bottom and I'll surely send through to you a copy of this okay and it would mean a lot to me if we could actually help a lot more people to actually see this story so that they are not wasting their time on the internet that they are actually you know going out there getting their attention that their business deserves converting, I mean, getting the attention that their, their business uh, actually uh, deserves, giving out that value that pays that attention that they're getting and getting the conversions that they have, okay? That's the only formula that you really need to know. Attention plus value equals conversions, all right? So comment below, blueprint or share or like or whatever it is. And also subscribe to this channel and make sure that you're always in touch with the cutting edge uh, digital marketing tricks that we are always providing. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your Monday. It's gonna be a good week.